$45. That's what it cost me for an overweight bag. See, I was 22 years old. I went to the airport, gave the lady my passport, my boarding pass, took my luggage, put it on the scale, looked at her. She looked at me, looked at the scale, looked at me again, and with this awkward little smile said, that'll be $45. <laughs> to which I said, uh, pardon? I said, $45, checking in my bag? That, what, what, what are you talking about? What do you think I packed in my bag? And she went, well, son, that is the question. What did you pack in your bag? Fellow Toastmasters, Distinguished Toastmasters contest chair, what did you pack in your bag? You see, every day when we wake up, we have this bag called life. And in this bag called life, we have all sorts of things that you and I carry. It could be emotional baggage, it could be mental baggage, it could be spiritual baggage. But we carry it all the time. And like me packing all my stuff in my luggage, thinking that, well, when I go to California, I won't have to do laundry. So I'll pack everything. And I mean everything. I cleared up my wardrobe, took all the hangers, dumped it all in my bag. Because I thought I was doing the wise thing, thinking I need to carry something that I thought would be beneficial to me. When in fact, it cost me. Literally, cost me. What are you packing your bag? See, as I got a little older, I started packing new things. And a couple of things I packed in, well, I started to pack in the letter F. The letter F? <clears throat> Forgiveness. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not perfect. So I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And I've replayed those over and over again. Over, over and over again. Over and over again. <laughs> like a broken record. How many people have ever done that? You made a silly mistake financially, relationship-wise, you name it. And every waking moment you think, man, I'm smarter than that. I should have known better. I can't believe I did it. No one's this stupid. And you play it over and over again. And you never forgive yourself for making that mistake. What I found out is if I don't forgive myself for making the mistake, guess what? I don't learn anything. If you don't learn, you don't grow. And believe you me, I'm in this world to grow. So it took me a little thing I, I come up with called my own mantra. And I had to do this myself. Every time I made a silly mistake, I'd say, Clem, you're human. You're going to make mistakes. But do not let your past mistakes affect your future success. And you're surprised how liberating that is when you start saying things that are encouraging yourself to get that load off your back. Because you don't need to live your life with unforgiveness. So we're about forgiving others, but remember to forgive yourself. Something else I started to learn about after forgiveness was for me to associate myself with people who are smarter than me. See, I heard John Maxwell say, if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to get out. <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard birds of a feather do what? Walk together. Ah, uh, she's a smart group. So you associate yourself with smart people. Reason being is very simple. These are people who are going to inspire you. These people are going to inspire you to do greater things. They're going to push you along instead of push you down. Because they understand the struggles in life. They understand when you put a goal in place, it's not always easy. They understand. They're not going to be the ones that are going to knock you down. They're the ones who are going to find out what it is that they can do to help you become better. So I started associating myself with people of the same drive, the same goal, the same desire that I had, and that I still have. How did I do this? Toastmasters. I found a Toastmaster organization that helped me become a better speaker. Mastermind groups. I started joining mastermind groups to find out what they do to become better in their industry. Not necessarily in my industry, but anyone with a goal, it doesn't really matter what industry you're in. You've got one focus, one mind, one desire, and that's to become the best at what you do. And I found that's who I associate myself with. Because as they say, iron sharpens iron. So find out who you're going to associate yourself with. That's going to be a benefit to your life. So when I finished packing my association, I went back in my bag and I decided I was going to pack the letter S. 
and that's sharing. And let me tell you, this is one of the scariest things I've ever had to do. Because can you imagine telling someone what your goal is, what your passion is, and they look at you and they say, you want to do what? You want to start a business? Did you take a business course? Can you even spell business? <laughs> they tell you a thousand and one reasons why you can't do it, but they can't give you one reason why you can't. So I uh, would step back and say, well, I'm done sharing because I don't want to get knocked down anymore. But the dichotomy to that part is this. When I started sharing my dream about being a public speaker, I started finding people who wanted to come by my side, who wanted to say, want to stoke that passion fire that's inside of me and say, hey, Clem, what can we do to help you? So sharing it, because in this world of 7 billion people, I'm sure you can find one person to share your goal with. And after I started sharing what I wanted to do, I had to remember something else. You see, this is what we hate people who waste it, we're always spending it, and we never have enough of it. Time. The most precious commodity we ever have in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, I work myself to the bone. I've missed out birthday parties, anniversaries, not mine, but other people's anniversaries. <laughs> And what I found out is health-wise, we run ourselves into an early grade if we don't find the time to look after ourselves. So before I close, ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you something. What are you packing in your bag? Are you packing time to find the time to invest in yourself, your family, your friends? Reflect on what you're doing and whatever you're doing is it going to be beneficial to you. Pack time. I also want you to pack sharing. Share your goals, your success, your vision, because guess what? You might be inspiring somebody else to become the best that they can be. So share. Next thing you want to pack, association. Birds rush out to flock together. Eagles fly, oh, you know something? <laughs> <laughs> Eagles fly with eagles, not with pigeons. So make sure you fly with the hires. And F, well, that's for forgive. Hope you can forgive me for putting up the wrong letter. <laughs> <laughs> and for those that like to say, I was just videotaping. Pack all these things in your bag of life. And then guess what? When you take that journey, go up to be the best that you can be. And I'll join you on the trip. Contest chair.